what's up you guys so i'm back um however this video was recorded prior like about a month and a half ago so this is qt hair and they did send me their virgin brazilian bundles okay if i remember correctly the closure was 12 inches or the frontal was 12 inches excuse me and the bundles were 16 16 and 14 inches if i don't remember i will definitely post it all below um, also this is a loose wave so the first thing you guys see me doing here which is a normal I'm just gonna bleach the knots in this frontal before I make it into it into a wig because it just makes it a lot easier to bleach it before you even pre tweeze it okay because if you pre tweeze it first and then bleach it you might find you yourself having some ball patches so I would highly suggest bleaching your frontal or closure prior to making your unit or just prior to plucking any of the hairline that is the most important thing and i like to use the blue bleach on it with 30 developer and that's what i used and i like to use a smaller brush or sometimes i'll use a spoon um this is the salon pro um bleaching powder and also the salon pro 30 developer I don't think I really go higher than 30 developer. Once in a blue moon, I'll use like a 40, but not very often. You want to just take light strokes and make sure that you feel any types of cracks. So you guys, here I am, and the wig is already made. I didn't think you guys really wanted to see me curling it. I just used a, um, a smaller wand curler, and yeah, that's about it. I did sew some combs on the back of the unit, as you guys see, but no combs in the front. And I'm just going to take my hair clip right here and on the other side as well. And I'm going to take my small scissors and I'm just going to cut away the extra lace. Well, it's not extra. I mean, you're not supposed to wear it on air anyway. So you just want to take it off anyway. But you don't want to cut too close to the hairline. Because if you cut too close to the hairline, then some of your hairs are going to fall out. So as you guys see, I'm going to cut the extra side on the side. So you know, they come standard size, um, the frontals, and nothing always fits perfect. So you do have to customize it and adjust it to make it fit to your head circumference. So I'm just cutting out an extra piece on the sides that actually went over my ears. And I know I am cutting the hair, but listen, you have to because you don't want your ears to be covered up, right? Like, yeah. So anyway, just make sure that you customize it to fit your head circumference. Now I'm gonna take my rat tail cone and I'm just going to go ahead and make me some sideburns. You know, I do like the sideburns. Um, I don't really do the pasted down baby hairs as much anymore because I just, you know, I rather have them kind of like loose and wispy, like, you know, like flying in the wind, gone with the wind, you know something like that a little bit more natural but i do cut some of those wispies into the wig and then i'll take my mousse which is from the dollar tree and i'll just sculpt and mold down my sideburns and i'll just brush the wispy hairs i'm not going to sculpt and mold them you know i'm just going to brush them down and use my pump it up super hold hairspray to adhere my wig which will stay on for like two to three days and then i'll take my blow dryer on a cool setting and I'll just blow dry the mousse and the actual hairspray so that way I have a nice hold and as well as that I'll go ahead and I'll do the front hairline. It's going to actually be the same step as you've seen on the side. I will use my eyebrow trimmer, I'll brush the wispies hairs, you know you have to kind of like mold them so I'm just kind of like brushing them giving them a little curvage but they're definitely not going to be sticking to my forehead. If they are sticking to your head and you don't want them to, girl just take your toothbrush or your styling tool and just lift it up. I'm not really like a huge fan of a lot of pasted down baby hairs like don't get me wrong I do like it but I'm not like the biggest fan but I do like it okay. So I'm going to repeat that same step on the opposite side. As you guys see, the hairline looks really, really natural. The hair was actually really nice. It is a little bit greasy looking to me on camera, but you know, hey. Um, the hair did come out nice. It did shed a little bit, and it's probably either from me tweezing it or bleaching it. Either way, it did hold up. This is a kind of short for me, especially with a frontal. But, you know, I tried to recreate kind of like a 90s hairstyle from back in the day. Because, you know, your girl is from the 70s. And so, 
the 90s was like my popping year you know i was in my 20s i was shit popping you know so i tried to create like a 90s hairstyle that i actually wore back in the day so the car the curls were really tight in this hair from qt hair but you know i tried to brush them out and they didn't really come out that good so that is a plus the hair does curl really really well and also along with that you know what i'm saying it does style it's very full there wasn't any type of split ends in it the frontal bleached amazing like i didn't have to go back in i didn't have any brassy tones your girl was impressed now to try to loosen some of these curls i did take my blow dryer and i kind of like glued them out a little bit i didn't want them so tight because i'm not like a huge fan of tight curls but like i said i wanted to kind of like recreate you know a style from the 90s that's why i got on my big door knocker earrings and my you know checkerboard shirt yes you guys earrings and checkerboard shirts were back then out in the 90s nothing new so i did kind of recreate it um like how i wore it back in high school and as you guys see i did flip it over a little bit you know this was like kind of like popular hairstyle for me especially because i did like to get up every morning and curl my hair for high school you know but yes you guys i hope you enjoyed this video you can definitely check out qt here i will list all of their information below let me know what you think i'm happy to be back like i said this video was actually recorded like a month and a half prior to my surgery but i'm definitely back i'm feeling a whole lot better now i love you guys i hope you have a merry merry christmas stay diva and delicious, and i'll see you guys soon bye